Expendable launch vehicles tend to induce severe loading conditions onto payloads during its flight into space. Payload integration involves coupling the space vehicle to the launch vehicle and calculating the internal loads during multiple launch environments. Along with its actual mission, payload design always involves investigating the ability of the space vehicle to survive the flight environments. It is common in preliminary design to rigidly couple the payload mass properties to the booster in order to evaluate the maximum accelerations expected along with the rattle space between the fairing and the payload. In the case of a rough ride, one part of the system that may be modified is the interface structure. The interface struts can be sized using optimization to minimize the payload CG accelerations. A total of 24 struts will be designed with identical properties. Each strut has eight plies. The ply layup is symmetric for each strut also. A total of eight continuous design variables are linked to all the struts. For simplification, only one launch environment is analyzed using the Genesis software that can optimize for frequency response. One of the more severe environments is the rocket engine ignition overpressure pulse. Other lateral loading conditions may be caused by both ground winds and local aerodynamic turbulence from winds aloft. When using optimization to design structures, all loading should be considered and accounted for if they are considered primary loads. The ignition overpressure pulse applies lateral pressure loads to one side of the launch vehicle. Lateral loading tends to excite the payload and the fairing because both are cantilevered from the top of the launch vehicle. Data is recovered in four vertical planes clocked at 45 degrees around the launch vehicle. As design optimization modifies the structure, it is important that the rattle space or relative displacement requirement is not exceeded. The initial model exhibits a lateral payload CG acceleration of roughly 28 Gs. Design optimization will reduce this by tuning the struts. The initial design does not exceed the one inch allowable rattle space between the payload and the fairing. The design objective is to minimize the payload CG acceleration. The ply design variables will modify all 24 struts to be identical. As the optimization proceeds, the rattle space displacement is constantly monitored. Upper and lower bounds are defined for the ply design variables. An additional constraint is placed on the minimum total thickness of all plies for the struts. The design objective is to minimize the maximum acceleration response at whatever frequency it occurs. The beta method is used to do this. Because the plies are thin and the frequency response is very sensitive to small model changes, the design variable move limits have been reduced. The Genesis optimization program normally converges in 10 to 15 design cycles. For this problem, the small step size results in more design iterations, but produces more accurate results. The technical support staff at Vanderplatz R&D is more than willing to recommend optimization methods and parameters to Genesis users. The optimized design shows the payload CG acceleration to be 8.6 Gs. The final optimized design shows the payload CG acceleration has dropped to roughly one-third of the original design response. Additionally, the allowable rattle space requirement has not been exceeded for the new design. For model consistency, each strut has its own material coordinate system defined. 
These coordinate systems defines the longitudinal length of each strut as theta equals zero degrees and the circumferential direction as theta equals 90 degrees. Since the composite layup is symmetric, only four of the eight plies are shown. The total thickness of all plies change from 700 mil to 400 mil, which is the constrained lower bound. Continuous design variables are used to modify the ply thickness, but discrete design variables, which enforce prescribed thickness increments, are also an option in Genesis. The optimized struts are more flexible and show the primary pitch mode has dropped in frequency. The mode shape plots shown are slowed down and exaggerated for visualization purposes. Actual displacements are so small that they cannot be discerned without magnifying them. Finally, by tuning the interface structure to minimize payload CG acceleration, the total strut weight was reduced by 144 pounds. For more information on Genesis, Design Studio for Genesis, and other optimization technologies, please visit our website at www.vrand.com.